So we're going to make a cookie. Uh, look down from the top. And we're going to add a uh, curve. And you can go ahead and press tab to go into edit mode. Press X to delete everything because we're going to draw our own curve. Make sure it's the draw tool, not the annotate tool, but the draw tool. And we're going to draw cookie. I'm going to do the, what is it called? The gingerbread man. Yeah. That's some good stuff. Make sure you go to the start and end. Like, got to end right where it starts. Otherwise, you're going to have to toggle cyclic. Right here, it looks good. Otherwise, you're going to have to go to curve and toggle cyclic to make it connected. You can use a tweak tool to uh, let's, let's delete one of them. Then it'll just fill in between. You can use a tweak tool to just sort of move things around a little. But uh, I think this looks pretty good. We make this a little more arm like. Okay. Now we're going to go into the curve settings down here, this green button. And we're going to switch it to a 2D curve. Switch, switch the fill mode to both. So that'll make it um, this flat shape here. And then if we go to geometry and turn up the extrude, we can make it shape with depth. So that's good. Now we got to make it a little smoother. This isn't, this isn't very good to work with. First of all, it's a curve. So if we try and edit it, it's like that. So uh, we're going to right click, convert to mesh. And another issue with it is that it's not like the, the sides aren't connected to the top and bottom. So in edit mode, by pressing tab, go into edit mode, select all with A. And we're going to go to mesh, clean up. Where is clean up? In there. Clean up, merge by distance, which is just going to merge every vertice that's right next to another vertice. So it, it just becomes one object now. As you can see, you can grab it now and yeah, and undo that. You can see that it's one object. So now we're going to want to make it a uh, better shape made out of better faces than this because these are just giant faces that stretch over it. So I'm going to go back into this green setting, the object data. Now it's a mesh, so it looks, it's a little triangle icon. The icon's different, but it's the same menu. Under remesh, I'm going to go to quad. And this is going to remake the entire thing. You click Waterflow remesh and then OK. This is going to remake the entire thing out of better shapes. It's going to be nice nice little rectangles it's gonna mess it up a little but for a cookie that's okay um go to an edit mode now you can see it's all nice little squares made of and that also means um we can go into sculpt mode and where's the smooth tool you can just smooth it you can sculpt it any way you want but uh i'm just using this to sort of smooth out the top edges it looks more like a cookie that's been in the oven for a while. I may I may have doing a little more smoothing than I should. Let me let me correct this a little with let's say the uh grab tool. I'm gonna press F to make it bigger and there we go. I might have messed up the bottom a little. The bottom should be pretty flat. But uh okay, back back to object mode. We've got our cookie. I'm looking down on it from the top. You can also make it look smooth by right click and shade smooth. You should do that in pretty much all objects you make. But uh, here we go. Now we're going to add the icing because we want to make a gingerbread man, right? So we're going to do the same thing as before. Add curve, Vizier, press tab, X, delete. Now we're in edit mode with the curve. We can draw. But this time we're going to pick surface instead of cursor. So surface means when we draw, I'm going to draw the little armband things. It's drawing onto that surface of the cookie, which is exactly what we want for icing, isn't it? Now, over here in the object data properties thing again, the little green icon, now it's a curve again. Instead of going to 2D, we're going to stick with 3D, and we're going to go down to geometry. Oh, no, we're going to go down to bevel, and we're going to turn the depth up. 
that makes it uh, thick. 3D. So, and we're going to click fill caps. So I'm going to go back to the top view, and I'm just going to keep drawing until I'm happy. I looked up um, gingerbread men, and they looked exactly like this. But probably a, they're a little more careful when doing these steps. A bow tie. Good old smile. Some eyebrows. There we go. So now we've got the whole thing. There's the icing. There's everything. What else can we do with this? Where's the colors? So, uh, first of all, I'm going to go to edit mode with tab, switch over to the cookie, and give it a cookie. You don't see it yet because uh, we're not in the um, material preview. So there's a material preview. You can mess around with like the roughness and stuff and make it more cookie like. I'm not going to worry too much about that. And the icing, let's have a white icing. Click the plus over here to create another slot. And I'm creating these on the icing I've selected. And here's a red one. And the issue is that uh, you have to go into edit mode, select with any, any kind of tool. I'm going to use a lasso. Oops. And then a sign. And so now that's red. I can make these black by making a new material. Maybe like... Right? Alright. This is it. This is your... Uh, your cookie. You can add a more detail as you want. Something to... Oops, I picked the wrong tool. Something to note. Uh... You have to uh, you have to keep assigning the materials. I'm using L to select now, but if you want to paint over the um, icing with more icing and have it stacked properly, you need it to have a be a separate object. So I'm using Shift D to add another uh, duplicate of the icing I made. I'm deleting all the icing I made, and then I'm drawing. It draws on top of the existing icing is useful. And I'm going to delete that. Here, this is the perfect thumbnail, the perfect gingerbread man. Um, you might need to right-click and convert to mesh when you're finally done. But until then, you can just edit. You can tweak and move things around. You can do whatever you need to do. Another thing to note, let me go back into edit mode. You draw like this. You're going to end up with uh, too much, and you just need to select the handle in the middle and delete, and delete, and delete. And that's it. You can make gingerbread houses, you can make anything. Have fun with this, be creative.